We are going to take a look at some of the south coast marks on the Llyn Peninsula up in North Wales. Um, so I'm just going to go using the Google Earth Pro map, which is a great tool by the way. Um, we're going to look at uh, Penny Hill and Hafon y Moor Holiday Park all the way round to Killan. And if you like this style, we'll do some more. Um, this is the Holiday Park and it's got access to some rocky outcrops, but we recommend you head for Penny Hill, uh, which you can uh, drive quite close to and walk for deep access to some good bull husk fishing here. Um, and it's quite a good mackerel mark at times. Once they're in, it's a great place to catch fish here. It does throw up some odd species there as well, that rocky outcrop. But there are better marks along this south coast through to Aberwerk Beach, which is quite shallow. Now this is Pathelli Harbour we're looking at now. The eastern side you would need to uh, park obviously to the right and if you want to fish the other end you need to drive round the harbour, uh, round to the west. Um, so what we'd recommend to do here was drop a, a bait quite close in. All the water will uh, has to funnel out of the harbour so it's a good ambush point for the bass you could drop a bait down here you'll see a few rods down here usually just just trying to ambush those baits with big mackerel baits peeler crab is another good one well, or even live bait fishing uh, don't want to give any secrets away but have a look at that spot there for some big bass um, during low tides so just bear in mind that the movement of water is what you want for the bass so once the movement of the water's moving a bit, it's a good place to find them. Lures on the eastern side there are quite good as well. Get off, uh, get out the car and have a little walk around there. It's quite good for finding the pollock and bass. Now, uh, parking here and here, you get access to this rock, which is called Gimlet Rock. So the same sort of species really, but it's quite a good platform, particularly at high tide to get into some deeper water for bull huss and all the beach species uh, that can be caught along here which will include thornback ray, um, place, dab, flounder, um, definitely dogfish, um, you can be played with those at certain times but it's um, relatively deep water beach fishing there. Uh, things get a bit more interesting for me uh, when you head further west, uh, this is a rock mark called Karigadevide and there's a mussel bed here which can sometimes hold the black bream if they are nesting in the area. Yep, you know, they do nest. Um, there's also been a stingray caught here as well. Uh, not worth fishing for them, but it does show what sort of rare species the Slim Peninsula can throw up. Access to Cadigadevide is off the main coast road, um, which shows some details here on the screen. You need to park up on this little access road, walk down here, across the beach, and there's a rock mark there. This actually fishes a little bit better with the tide up, sort of half up to high tide. Um, and But do come down during low tide if you can, and you'll see where you should be casting uh, to catch a fish. There's bass here as well, not to any great size, um, but a good spot for the bass. And then the beach on the other side, pretty unproductive, can get place at uh, a distance casting here. But that'll take us to Llanbedrog. Um, so head for the village of Llanbedrog, again off the uh, coast road. And again, my pronunciation's awful. Sorry about that, Welsh speakers. Um, feel free to correct me and laugh at me. Um, but Llanbedrog's not, not a particularly popular mark. It's very snaggy, very shallow. Um, good chance of silver eels here um, and bass of course things getting a bit more interesting the further west you go this is Abasoch again a holiday making town um, there is a little harbour there um, with some water which you will pick up some good flounder at times but to be honest it's worth avoiding Abasoch it's full of tourists it's a sandy bucket and spade type of beach um, if you're going to come to the Llyn Peninsula, the Abasoch is, is best avoided for fishing. There are a couple of further up here. I've had some um, blonde ray actually from this rocky outcrop. 
a number of years ago though for that one uh, okay now things are getting more interesting here uh, you'll find bigger pollock uh, conga and those rays on this killan stretch of headland it's one to walk really i suggest you do the circular walk and you'll find all the spots to get down so you can get down to Porth Keriad, sorry for the pronunciation. Um, that'll give you access again, bass, bass in surf conditions there, it can be fantastic. But really this Killan headland is a lot more interesting with the chance of a taupe. Best bet is to park at one of the farms here. Um, you may need to mention it to them or drop them off some fresh fish, some mackerel if you catch it, if they're interested. Um, that's the rocky outcrop there that uh, you want to head for really uh, it's the most accessible of all those little um, jutty out bits of rock um, i've seen some massive mullet as well never been able to cut, uh, catch them here um, but your pollock fishing here is is superb always a chance of a tote so let, let us know what you think of this sort of format using google earth pro um, it stops me having to spend five days looking at the marks um, <laughs> There is a guy, actually, he's got a YouTube channel. He's called Fishing in the UK, and he does fish some of the North Coast mo marks, uh, inspirational stuff from that young chap. Um, so I suggest you check him out, Fishing in the UK. Put some details here. And let us know what you think of the Google Earth Pro way of doing things um, in the comments section. And I will carry on from Killan Headland through to Uchmanud just to get people new to the area out and fishing. Or if you've fished here before, let us know in the comments section. Thanks for watching.